Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session, we are going to deploy and execute SPFX and Graph API based application. So let's jump into the Visual Studio code. So guys, I am inside the Visual Studio code and the code which we have developed in our earlier session that we are going to deploy it. So how we will deploy it, I will let you know. But prior to that, I wanted to show you what are the changes I have done. I will go to the package hyphen solution and over here I have added some more scope within our solution. So I would suggest that you can also do the same changes if you are following along with me or else you can download the code from the GitHub repository. Another change is what I have done. I have shortened the name of the solution and I have also shortened the name of SPP package. It is because earlier we were having long name that is not allowed. So that's the reason I have kept short name. So now let's build it gulp build into. So this will build our solution. So it has started the building process. Now build is completed. Now next I need to run gulp bundle minus minus ship. So it will bundle our solution. So it has started bundling over here. Now the bundling process is being completed. Now next we will run gulp package hyphen solution minus minus ship into and this will generate the SPP package. So now the SPP package is being generated and this is the folder in which it is being generated that is SharePoint solution and this is the package SPFX graph API dot SPP package. Now we will deploy this package to the app catalog. So guys I am inside the SharePoint admin center and to go to the app catalog you have to come to more features and over here you need to select apps and over here you need to click open. Once you do that it will open the app catalog. So guys I am inside the app catalog and I am going to use the classic experience over here and over here I will click on upload and I will click on choose file and then I will go to the SharePoint folder within solution. Over here I will select this package open click OK and now we need to select this checkbox and click on deploy so that it will deploy our solution. Once it will deploy the solution then we need to go inside the API access and where we need to approve the graph API request. So let's look into that. So I will go back to the SharePoint admin center and over here I need to go inside the advanced and over here I will get the API access and once we click on API access then you will find that the list of approval request is pending over here and we need to approve it and we are requesting for all these permissions. So let me approve one by one. I will come over here, select this, click on approve, approve. Then I will select this one. I will select on approve. This is required to use the graph API within our SPFX solution. That's the reason we need to approve it. And once we approve it, then we are able to use the graph API within SPFX. So this is very mandatory step. So now we have approved all the requests. Now let's go back to site collection that is SPFX exercises and there we will create a page and there we can use our application. So let's do it. So I will come back over here, click on active sites and there I need to select SPFX exercises. So let's open this one and then I will go to the site contents. Within the site contents, I will go to site pages and within the site pages, I will create a site page over here. I will give it a name SPFX app with graph API. So now next I need to add the web part. To add the web part I will come over here click on plus icon and this is our web part over here. I will select this one and now you will see that our web part has been loaded. And over here you will see that all the entry from the SharePoint list we are getting inside our details list and that is coming through the graph API. And over here if you will come over here select any record then you will find that it is get populated inside our controls. And this is what I wanted to demonstrate you in this session. So on this note, I am stopping over here. See you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.